Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for the UFC light heavyweight title. Introducing the challenger, the youngest ever UFC tournament winner, the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Victor Belford. 204.2 for the Phenom. And his opponent, the youngest ever UFC light heavyweight champion, the youngest ever UFC champion, period, John Jones. 204.6 for the champion. Go, the phenom, 10 years the elder of John Jones, the champion who is four inches taller. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the back. I want you to fight clean, fight hard, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good luck to both of you. John Jones, Vitor Belfort. Let's get up. Here we Tonight's clock brought to you by Sony Pictures. Here comes the boom in Whoa. theaters. October 12th. Yeah, that was close. Could have been a kick to a ground and opponent. Yeah, I don't think Vitor cares. <laughs> There's that oblique kick that he that uses was so not well. Bad. That was a front leg side kick. Watch for the oblique coming up then, Joe, because he loves to utilize that. Look at this. Look at takedown. And his guillotine attempt by Vitor, he lands a punch and he's on his back. Now one thing we've never seen off of Vitor is submissions from his back. He can defend himself from his back. I'm sure he has submissions. Oh, Arbar! He's got it! He can has he got it! it right here! Vitor Belfour looking to finish his fight! Jones trying to power out of it! Can he, he get might, it? He might break that arm, Mike. He might break that arm. Wow! You know what? It's a little high now. I think he's out. He's out. He's out. Wow. That's one thing we hadn't seen from Vitor before. But he just shows he has it. He just showed he has it. Round two. Will Jones look to take him down immediately again? I believe that's most likely the case. Can Vitor start to let those hands go? Yeah, he just doesn't want to be able to be boxed in. There's the one front. we were talking about See, before that It's front, a front yeah. leg side kick. Head kick by Belfort. Throws with the hands. I'm curious to see how Go bad John's out, John. arm is hurt. He threw it again. He's really stomping on that, that thigh of Vitor. John, close the hand when it comes out. Oh man, that's a nice technique. What a much more controlled pace oh, here. Front kick to the, the second. Face. Side kick to the thigh. So far away from your opponent. Nice, nice knee. knee. He pulled guard. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, seven could be a kick. It could be just, a... just throw the one that works. John was calling for. John to attack that thigh over and over again and, he and, then, and then go upstairs once Vitor gets used to it. Give me a guy who brings the proper toolbox and we can build something. Side kick to the body, he hurt him, he hurt him, he yeah. hurt him. He hurt him with that side kick to the body. And now the axe kick the same way. John did a good job of keeping his hand up high and defending. Nice right hand by Jones. So that shows you that his right hand is I okay. I was thinking the same thing. His right arm, yeah. Yeah, his yeah, elbow yeah, might be it. it might be sore, but it's yeah. it's effective. Adrenaline is a good painkiller, isn't it? Why is Vito tying up with him? But the big question in my mind, Joe, is Vitor you know, 16, 17 minutes into a fight. He tried a head kick there. He's just hesitated so much in this fight. This is what he needs. He needs a wild exchange. He needs to be Vitor. Yeah. Again, he pulls him into his guard. This is so crazy. He winds up on the bottom in side control here. Oh, he's going to get smushed. This is it. Oh, man. Big, big, big elbows by John Not Jones. Not good for Belfort. He's, got, he's trying to get him in the mounted crucifix. He just needs to secure the right arm. Now he's going for Kimura. It That's is it. all over. That's it. John Jones remains the UFC light heavyweight champion. Good job, buddy. 
And here you see he pins down that arm, wraps it up, and look how he immediately brings it down to the hip. Excellent technique. That first round, how, how tight was that arm bar? Oh uh, man, he, he got that arm bar in every way, shape, and form. I've never had my arm pop like that before, and I, I don't know, I just, I felt it, but I worked too hard to give up. How, how bad was it extended? I honestly was waiting for it to break. Yeah, I've been just a dangerous fight. I've got a lot of respect for him, but you know, let's make one thing clear. I'm going down to Brazil to win this fight. I ain't going down there to collect a paycheck and get beat up by Vitor. I said, listen, chicken legs, just remember, because he has the body of a lion, but he has the legs of a chicken. And he also has the heart of a chicken, which I'll show. <laughs> Between Vitor Belfort and Michael Bisping, both guys in their mid-30s, you see the one-inch height advantage for Michael Bisping. All right, guys, been through the rules in the locker room. You want to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Have a good, clean fight. You want to touch gloves, do it now. Good luck to both of you. Nice inside leg kick there for Bisping. Likes to stay busy. Jab going backwards from Bisping. Bisping certainly weary of Belfort's power, but has a lot of confidence in his chin. Very, very patient in this fight against Bisping as well. A little bit of a feeling out process here early. Perhaps Vitor Belfort pacing himself. There's Belfort starting to find range with his left hand and now look for that finish with the right hand that right hook as soon as he starts finding his range with his left he'll finish the combination with that right hook and that's the one that Bisping really needs to be careful with Belfort with a nice counter shot there so well nice little spinning attack from Bisping Belfort landed a nice run Nice left hand, nice kick. Let the knockout come, just kind of put string together shots and he just landed a huge left high kick that hurt Bisping. Yeah, set up nicely by the left hand and Vitor working Bisping here early. Looks like they collided heads there. Nice end of the round for Belfort. And it's Bisping taking the center of the octagon here to begin our second round. Belfort very fluid and relaxed here in the early going. There it is again, that left high kick. And Bisping has opened up and in all sorts of trouble, that'll do it! Vitor wow. Belfort has done it! That is one of the most dangerous shots as a, as a kicker and being a southpaw, that left high kick. And he caught it flush on Bisping. He landed a glancing blow in that first round. He certainly made that one count in round two. And he derails the title shot hopes of Michael Bisping. Well, he landed it in the first round and he landed it in the second to get the finish. You can see Bisping's hands were down just as he threw it. Boom! Right on the temple. And from there, we know about Vitor Belfort's killer instinct. If he has you hurt, many times, it's going to be the end. Um, I'm excited. I, you know, I think Vitor is the next best thing to Anderson Silva right now, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to go in there and, and, and fight him and let everybody know I'm here to stay and uh, I, I want that belt. I'm excited. I, I feel like I can kickbox with him. And, you know, if, he's, if he wants to do the kicking match, uh, I'm more than welcome. You know, more welcome to oblige. I, I'm, I'm just gonna go win this fight wherever it takes. 186 for Luke Rockhold. 186 for. What a main event we have got tomorrow night here in Brazil.
Luke Rockhold making his UFC debut against the Phenom Vitor Belfort. Here we go. The Brazilian Vitor Belfort, 36 years old. The American Luke Rockhold is 28. Gentlemen, you both know the rules, you both know what to expect. Protect yourselves at all times, obey me at all times. Fight hard, fight fair, fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Well, the anticipation is off the charts for this one. A monster fight at 185 pounds to our Belfort. The fight clock is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Belfort in the red trucks with white trim and Rockhold in the blue trucks with black. A slip there early for Luke Rockhold, who was very mindful of the importance of these first five minutes. And you gotta watch out, you can't be lulled to sleep by Victor Belfort, who is a phenomenal counter striker. How about that spinning kick? Staying nice and calm, waiting for that opportunity to strike. And an early shoot for the takedown there for Luke Rockhold. And Vitor presses forward. He touches Rocco with the right hand there. Luke Rocco, just a huge middleweight. Luke Rockhold really with a no-nonsense approach to everything during fight week. He has been angry. He has been emotional. And look at a control distance with his kick and game here. Nice counter combo there from Vitor. Just misses. Rockhold with a nice little check hook there as he spins out of the... And as we've seen out of Vitor Belfort, oftentimes all it can take is one slight crack, one slight opening for his opponent to be twitching on the canvas. Porque sem Deus na nossa vida a gente não é ninguém. Eu estou aqui hoje, mais forte quando eu era antes, como o Joshua. Então eu estou muito feliz com essa oportunidade. I want to thank everyone. I'm stronger than ever as I was before, but as, as then. And appreciate all the love, the fans. Ladies and gentlemen, the future UFC Hall of Famer, one more time. Come on, somebody. Victor Belfort. Come on, Jesus. I love you. Thank you. You know, just because we've been around a long time doesn't mean it necessarily uh, is or has to feel like a throwback fight. I think, you know, Vitor's been doing very well lately and, and wanted to fight me again, probably because I beat him the last time. You know, he's added uh, added some kicks into his game as well. So he's, he's just as dangerous or, or even more dangerous than he used to be. 204 for Hendo. 204 for Vitor Belfort. 92 kilos e 500 para o Vitor Belfort. A one inch height advantage for Vitor Belfort. Both guys measured with a 74 inch reach. A huge fight. All right, gentlemen, you've been through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands of all time. I want you to protect yourselves of all time. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Best of luck to both of you. Good luck. You ready? Let's go, fight. They touch gloves, and we are underway. We're going to see the speed of Vitor Belfort versus the power of Dan Henderson here. Vitor is going to have to be very careful. Even if he hurts Dan Henderson, we've seen 
Henderson come back and score a knockout of his own. Has a tremendous chin. Dan Henderson has dished out a ton of punishment throughout his career. Has taken a few big shots as well, but no one has been able to put him away. And no surprise, mutual respect, the story of the first 60 seconds. And they're dropping down, and Belfort drops it. Not sure if it was a shot or if Henderson was knocked off balance there. Vitor Belfort trying to finish off Henderson. Oh, huge kick. Mergliana steps in. Vitor Belfort has done it again. Left kick once again. Just when you thought Vitor Belfort couldn't top his previous performance, he does so. He becomes the first to finish Dan Henderson with strikes. Well, again, Belfort just kind of watching, analyzing. Look at that left hook. Was he off balance? Nope. <laughs> left hook right to the jaw. Knocked Henderson down. And from there, Belfort was swarming him with punches. But it wasn't until Henderson got back to his feet that Belfort was able to finish the job. Henderson still kind of hurt there, fighting hard to get back to his feet. Just as he got back to his feet, Belfort sent him right back down. You can see Henderson's eyes roll back. Excellent stoppage from Mergliata here. Wow. Well, you gotta think Vitor Belfort is coming to a championship fight near you. Primeiro lugar. Eu quero falar uma coisa muito importante. Quando alguém falar para você que você não pode, que já era, Deus coloca mais uma vida em você. E quando Deus coloca uma vida em você, ninguém pode tirar. Deus só tem um lugar na sua vida, ou em primeiro ou em nenhum lugar. Deus me deu força, eu batalhei, lutei e conquistei. E você também pode conquistar. I would like to share something. Eu vou falar em português, você traduz, tá? Sorry guys, I'm going to speak. I have to speak in português. A minha esposa mandou esse e-mail para mim ontem, quando ela ouviu muita pressão em cima de mim. Lembre-se de que o mundo sempre irá tentar fazer pressão em cima dos outros. A mãe deve ser perfeita e não reclamar de estar nunca cansada. O atleta deve ser sempre campeão. O médico não pode responder que não sabe muito bem a respeito de algo. O homem de negócio não pode tomar decisão errada. Enfim, você pode. Não desista dos seus sonhos. Não deixe ninguém determinar sua atmosfera. Faça a sua. Goiânia, let's hear it one more time. Your winner, Vitor Belfort. Uh, Belfort has now passed five random drug tests. The Nevada State Athletic Commission has granted him his license. Does that? ease your mind that he will be clean for this fight? You know, it's, uh, I'm going to have to fight Vitor Belfort regardless if he's on something or not, or not on something. There's always, always a question mark in my mind. Is a guy who's been on stuff for a long time, you know, pretty much a good chunk of his career, there's something inside him that makes him feel like he can't do it on his own. Then that's going to eventually what's going to break him in the fight. <laughs> Left him alone with this whole drug test thing, but then we just found out during camp he had a 1,200 testosterone score. It's, I'm 10 years younger than him, and he's got a way higher testosterone level. This guy's still cheating. I'm gonna make him pay for it tomorrow night. Weidman, two inches taller, he will have a four-inch reach advantage once again. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. Let's cut gloves and do this. Here we go! Southpaw, Vitor Belfort in the red trunks. 
Chris Weidman in the blue trunks. Head kick early by Chris Weidman. He's constantly pressuring you. Vitor with the knee. And he stumbles on the way back. Chris tries to take advantage. Gotta be careful there. The kick by Vitor. Wild scramble And there. some Wild blood scramble. on the left eye of Weidman. Belfort teeing off. Those great hands of the Fino. Big shots by Vitor. Weidman's in cuts. trouble. Vitor looking like the man who beat Vanderlei Silva in Sao Paulo. Good right hook there by Vitor. Beautiful technical striking by Vitor. Big flurry by the Fino. Two jabs have connected for Weidman. Big takedown by Weidman. Beautiful penetration on top. Both men, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts. Vitor under the late great Carlson Gracie. Vitor has got to control Weidman's posture. Hammer fist by Weidman. Big shot. Watching closely, Weidman trying to impose his will. Half guard. Looking He's to moving pass. in the mount. He's going to mount him. Bad for Vitor. Weidman, hammer fist, grounded and pound. Vitor just gave up his back. He's got a hip escape and come back around. He's in a lot of trouble here. He's getting tagged. Weidman with some serious ground and pound. Vitor in all kinds of trouble. Vitor's trying to punch back instead of trying to hit the team right on top of the action. Vitor's got to protect himself. Big elbow. Uh oh, Vitor's in deep, deep trouble. Her Dean's going to stop it. It, it is all over. The All American. Chris Weidman defeats Vitor Belfort. Wow. And Vitor had no answer once the fight went to the ground. Took him down and smashed him. Here's early in the round. All Vitor early, the uppercuts, the left hook. I mean, excellent combinations going to the body, but this is what started it all off. The takedown and immediately spun into half guard, got on top. Big elbow by the champion. He got on top, achieved full mount, and he just started dropping bombs. And over and over again, teed off on the face of Vitor Belfort. Vitor, always good to have you on the show, but let's talk about a recent article by the website mm -hmm. Deadspin alleging that you tested for high levels of testosterone prior to your UFC 152 fight with John Jones all the way back in 2012. What is your reaction to these accusations? You know, uh, I was starting my treatment and, and I had approved all my doctor and with the UFC so they, they need someone to step into that fight. I offer myself, I share all my, all my tests, all my exams with them. And one, one went public, I think they, they share my, my privates, but you know, everything got approval, you know. I never hide anything from anybody, you know, the media. I share everything that I knew it. So in that fight, I got approval by UFC, by the, the commission. You know, I had everything set. I came with no training for a fight, John Jones. I almost uh, submit him in the fight. And to tell you the truth, I don't know anything to say. You know? Well, and it doesn't help, of course, because you had a guy like Rook, Luke Rockhold this week saying you're a dirty fighter. How, how do you respond to that? I think his head is still spinning from that kick, so <laughs> I, uh, that's... <laughs> That's the only thing I can see, you know. You know what is this? In Brazil, we call elbow pain. When someone's jealous, we call elbow pain. So, you know, I don't expect anything coming from my, you know, opponents. You know, especially when they lose, they find the excuse. And if they want one, they, you know, they have to deal with that, but not me. There's a lot of negativity about TRT, you know, but what you don't hear is a fighter who comes off of it and then he still competes very well. Was it a hard transition transition to do that? Yeah, it wasn't easy because, you know, I still need the treatment. I wish I could have the treatment, and but it's banned for my sport. 
And you know, I, I, have, a, I have a jug that I drink coffee basically every day and drink my tea. It is what it is, you know. In life, you just got to make a, you know, people live in the past. And most of people live in the past and in the future. And everything related to your past or your future is hope or something regret. Past is a regret. Future is hope. Today is faith. It's action. And that's how I live. I live by faith, not by sight. I'm confident. I'm happy. I got joy in my journey. I got peace in the process. And I'm righteousness in the relationship in my life every day. So I think, you know what? I don't see people talking about. But the 14 guys that was in, in treatment in TRT in, in, in UFC, 12 of them was American guys. And I don't see the press talking a lot about them. And of course, I think the reason that I, I got too much hit because I was devastating the young generation. And, you know, that's their excuse. That's, for, uh, that's why I lost, you know. You don't get it. You don't teach. TRT doesn't teach a head kick, spinning head kick, how to knock people out. You know, boss, you be in the game. You fought the best guys on the era. And, and fighting, you know, people lose, they fight, they're trying to find an excuse. I never trying to find one. And I'm not going to give anyone for my opponents, you know. And I'm, I work hard. People that know me know my ethic. I work hard. And, and what I want to live for the next generation is the legacy. Because when people talk about legacy, it's all about themselves. People say, what the legacy you want to live for you? Legacy, the word legacy is for the next generation. You know, no one is perfect. We all make mistakes, you know. But the, diff the difference between people that they want to pursue in life, you know, don't make excuse. Find a way to succeed. Find a way. Go work hard. No other way. I teach my kids no other way. You got to work hard, work hard, and be smart. Choosing to walk with the right people, having the right crew around you. And I'm very thankful, you know, and I'm still in the treatment. And actually, you know, I'm still in TRT, and, but I, I, have a, I have a new version for that. You guys want to hear? Of course. Yes. yes. <laughs> it, it's True Revival Touch. <laughs> oh, true nice. Revival Touch. <laughs> Writing that <laughs> down. Very good. <laughs> Made me alive. I'm alive. <laughs> you got to right. get that, man. It's good, boss. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Searching for greatness, loving God first, and enjoying my life. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it.